G'day guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? I hope you guys are all well. So what I want to do today is I want to head back into town, see if there's actually a new hunt that we can go on, and hopefully we can take you guys along for the ride and see what is what. So let's uh, dash over there right, over, right away and see what's going on. And you know what? I was thinking about doing a, a bounty, uh, sorry, a, a raid. I haven't done a raid before, so if you guys are interested in me doing a raid, let me know. Anyway, um, I'll check out what's what anyway, and we'll just sort of take it from there. So, in the town we can go. Here we are. Let's race over to the saloon, check out old mate Nick, and see what he's got for us, if there's anything. Hopefully there is, because what we've done is, I believe we've done the deer, the coyote, and the wood. Bear. Wounded Bear was the previous video, so if you want to go in and check that out, please check it out and, um, and take a look at it. Anyway, here we are. So, oh, okay. So, I have done all of these three before, but it looks like they've got different um, uh, different rewards. So, mainly the, the weapon and the healing component. So, we've got the secret Indian. Uh, fusion. We've got a socket to the top of machete, so the Vasuri, and with the Coyote, we've got the Warhammer, and we've got some excellent herbal infusion, and we've got the strong herbal and the war knife here for the wounded deer. Right, so to be honest, I really didn't anticipate not getting, um, getting well, not getting any new different type of bounty, so. Unfortunately, um, I'm not going to replay these, so what I might do is we may in fact go speak with the consortium here um, and see what she has to offer us. So let's pay up our 200 dukes and we've got a new location on the map, we can go ahead and check that out and not too sure if there's a timer on it. Now to be honest, I've actually never done a raid before, so this is going to be interesting to say the least. So, not too sure exactly how this would sort of work, and I'm assuming it's like a, any sort of AI sort of base that you would rate in the past before they sort of went um, on the disappearing act there, so we'll see how this would sort of work. Well, it's a 40 minute event, oh no, that's the, the shooter's event. Okay, cool, new base, let's have a look, we've got Onyx doesn't appear that there is any sort of timer so that's good okay all right well let's go home because I'm assuming that we are going to need some supplies so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few of those things and we can definitely go ahead and get started now I had been crafting up some hatchets just in case if there was going to be any sort of uh, instance that I may have to have done this so We'll see if I've got any in the inventory there, and we'll take it from there. And also, oh yeah, maybe dynamite as well might be a good idea. I think I've got some leftover dynamite here, which I do. So I can go ahead and grab these fellows. May as well grab all of this, just in case. And I've got one left over, so I think I'll be alright with that. And if I really needed to, I should be able to make some more, maybe. Do I have the supply for that? Yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and make some more anyway. So we've got them there just in case. We never know if we may need them. And hatchets, hatchets, hatchets. What have I got? I really don't want to use my steel hatchets for anything, to be honest with you. Um, I've got a lot of broken down. I've got a few broken down steel ones here. That, oh, sorry, iron ones that I can use here. But what I could do is I might just take a few of those. Oh, there's that. So I may as well grab a few of those and I'll just have those on hand here. I've got a broken one here. I do have a couple in my inventory as well. And I've got that. So we'll see how we go with the, um, with the iron stuff as well. I do have some of these guys being crafted as we speak. Oop, no, that's my, my carpenter's bench. There we go. Might as well just craft another one. Just have it on the go anyway. 
and we have what we've got here so I think I might be ready to go armor looks all right clothing's not bad the weapon I'm not really even worried about to be honest with you really and I think he's hungry so let's go ahead and munch onto something here there we go how's this doing this has got another what 25 seconds I think we can wait around and see and grab this fella here before we sort of head off and there we go so we're in the final 15 seconds it should appear as we sort of get over to this here but yeah we'll see how this raiding event goes and if it's a bit of a success we'll, we might make a you know a bit of a thing of it who knows um all right where is my copper axe it has not there you are it has come through great so i've got three there i do have a couple in my inventory as well so don't panic guys um if i might not have the um tools and resources needed or required of course but let's go ahead and head over to onyx's base let's see what it's all about and hopefully we may get some pretty decent loot so yeah it's been a while since i've actually had any sort of ai bases up here i've got the earth spirit and the uh, uh Hikarim, i believe but I don't think they're the time sensitive ones or the bases that have disappeared because I did have a couple that were in the, sa in the south here that have disappeared. I really probably should check the old AI bases because I've had them since day one, honestly. They've never changed. Um, so I'm not too sure if they've restocked and if they've disappeared. I have absolutely no idea. But we have a interesting base set up here. Looks pretty big actually it looks ridiculously big to be honest with you so we'll do a quick perimeter sweep just trying to check out any sort of um, entry points that we can utilize here they look a little bit different to these wooden ones that might be like steel or iron uh, spikes I'd imagine now, let's see what's in here if there's anything that we can get our hands on yeah, some basic bits and pieces really not much anything that I would consider so let's go ahead and break our way in force our way in here and hopefully we have a base that we can okay you might be one of those uh, bases where they're all bunched up here we've got all these uh, one by one rooms so I'm just going to drill my way in to set up and hopefully we can um, yeah find a breakthrough into the actual base itself because right now I don't see any sort of um oh here we go well you know what we're going for it I was gonna say before we didn't see any sort of breakthrough to get into you know a bait um this part of the base or anything like that so let's see if we open up this one. Process of, of elimination, guys. Ooh, we've got the um, we've got the gun safe here. Let's go ahead and open up the gun safe. Ooh, here we go. What do we have? I'm gonna take a few of these. What is this? The Henry 44. Yes, thank you very much. And we've got some extra hatchets. Thank you. Very good. And folding shotgun you know what let's just take all and what I might do is I might leave some of the unimportant stuff so let's leave that behind and yeah all right cool that's not too bad let me just bust open this fella here while that's happening I'll just get out of his way and I'll go over to horsey over here and we shall just throw a couple of things here that I know I'm not going to need. Maybe what I shouldn't do is prematurely run through, uh, sorry, take anything and everything as I see it. I don't know if there's going to be any time for me to um, come back and loot. Yeah, I'll leave those for now. Let's see what this place has hidden here. Boom. And what have we got here? This looks like a, another workstation. 
nice sturdy jacket for us. Very good. Okay, interested to know what's in here. We've gone three, four deep in. Struck the middle by the looks of things. But I'm hopeful. Oh, here we go. Let's open up this fella, this big chest here that we've got. What do we have? Alright, so we've got some steel, we've got some bits and pieces in here, not too bad. And see what do we have in here. Maybe I want to go here. I don't know if there's like a little corridor like it was as soon as I got to this point here. So I might be able to get lucky here and maybe not. But we'll, we'll continue our way through and see if there's anything else that we can sort of unearth here. Well, there you go. As you can see, there's a bit of a, um, a perimeter of this base, which is good because this sort of gives us a bit of an idea on what, what we're sort of looking at here. Um, well, now that I've committed to this one. Okay, so this looks like a one by one. Okay, let's open up this. Okay. So, literally, I have found the central part of this... of this um, Onyx's base, actually. So, see if there's anything else that I can sort of uncover here. And if so, we can sort of, you know, um, I guess filter out. So at least we've sort of gone right into the central location here. We know what's on the other end here. That's good. And I guess from here, we can just sort of work our way backwards. And then we can sort of go room by room, I guess. Nothing in the workshop over here. So let's bust open this door here. And then hopefully by the, by the end of it, we can find all the storage chests and loots here, which we found a couple of chests here, which is good. I want to bust open this as well. Not too sure, like I said, if there's going to be some sort of timer or anything like that, but um, all right. So we've got his other workstation here. And what do we get out of this? We've got some granite. Okay, I'll take the granite and I'll take the, the chromite here. Very good. And I'm guessing here will be a good place to open her up. Okay, so we've got the herbal tea. Or the, um, the kitchen. Oh, it looked like the, um, the medical thing. Anyway, doing well at the moment, actually. So I'm really happy with so far with what we've found. Got a bit of ash. I'll take the ash, the maple, oak, all that. Definitely want to take some of that with me. And let's see what's in here. A saber from the forge. Thank you very much, forge. And can I get through here. I cannot, but however, I should be able to get through here. Okay, so that's the herbalist table. What do you have for me? Beautiful. Let's bust open into here. Okay, so we've got a few of these things going on here. Is this nothing foundry had nothing and the bonfire had nothing the well do you have any water for me my friend you have, you have absolutely nothing great let's see what's over here okay the bloom so the bloom has to offer we've got some of that beautiful and what I'm thinking now is I'll go over to this part here and see if there's anything that I can dig out. So we've got the food supply. Awesome. Okay, and this is all one by one, I'd imagine now. Yeah, alright. Ooh, we've got a bit of food. Alright, beautiful. Let's uh, stock up. And I'll eat some of your food, food while I'm here as well. Uh, why not? Get the water there, at least I can sort of stack on that. The tender meat I would definitely grab. And the berries as well. I think I've got enough berries to be honest with you. But let's take that, let's eat the corn because it's only just five corn. I'll keep the stack. 
and let's open up what we have over here potentially. Anything? And it doesn't appear to be anything here. Well, the thing is, there was a large chest here, so I'm, I'm hopeful that all the chests are located around here. Maybe. Stick of dynamite. Very good. That sort of replaced one of the ones that I've used, which is great. No, 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 no. You don't need to break that wall. We've already got in there. We've got some granite block. Great. Let's see if there's any other chests here, guys. I don't know if there's anything else that I can uncover. Oh, we've got this one. Okay. Pretty much I went through this like a bit of a, it's a bit of a massacre here, guys. I've gone through it nice and easy without any sort of issues. But I, I think if I can, I might have to come back and suss out the the rest of the base to be honest with you guys, because I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that there's gonna be some better loot that I haven't uncovered here. Um, we've opened up the lab and I haven't gone through here yet. So let's see what's in here. Nothing. And there's a little chest. Oop, no, 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 no. We've already opened it. And we've got some bits and pieces here. And these would have to all be seriously one by ones. Oop, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm probably just wasting my, my hatches at this point here, so it's all good. It's all for the sake of science and making sure that we've got all places checked. Oh, no, 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 you didn't have to break out. We've already broken in. Okay, no, no, you don't have to go there, we know it's there. Honestly, come on. And pretty much this has been a successful um, uh, raid. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Um, yeah, have you enjoyed the raid? Be interested to know your thoughts. Oh, I haven't actually gone through here yet. Really? Well, that's pretty silly of me, isn't it? What do we have in here? Ooh, we've got some steel, iron. Very good. What do we have in here? Okay, so we've got some repair stuff over here. So what I might do is I might just double back over this way and I'll start from my um, my initial starting point here just to sort of finish off where I was before so we'll just go room by room now bust open that let's bust open here and this would just be I would imagine the hallway again which was very heavily guarded no, 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 you don't need to do that. No, you don't need to do that either. There we go. And now I've got a pathway for the whole base itself. So, yeah, cool. Let's see what we've got in here. Alright, so we've got some pretty decent, pretty decent stuff, I should say. No, you don't need to break that. Break this. There we go. What's in here? Oh, yes, we've got some of the good stuff here some of the good stuff. What I might do is I might take that, switch out that for that, which is good. I can craft these things. These I cannot craft, so I'd rather grab those as a priority. And I want to get these bandages. So I'm a fan of these bandages. Do I take the non-stack of that and grab that? Yeah, why not? The other reason why I'm doing that is only because if I don't end up getting everything that I want for whatever reason that it automatically disappears. That's my fear. Because I'm pretty much stacked here. So let's go ahead and head out. And see if there's like a timer on it or does it disappear. I'd imagine it'll disappear as soon as I, I leave. So, I'm worried about that. <laughs> I'm actually really worried about that. So, in the interest of making sure that I've got everything, I'll quickly just 
dive back and just see if there was anything. Whoop, didn't need to use that. Oh god, I don't know what to, what to take now. I'm worried. I am legitimately worried now. So I can make a lot of these things. A lot of these things are just pretty much nice to have, if that makes sense. See, I want to take that. That I definitely want to take. So, I'll say goodbye to the berries. I might eat some of the berries. Just to, you know, justify my decision making, I guess. Um, here. No, I don't want that. I know there were some unopened chests that I did not get into, so let's get into those here. Let's break open that. Alright, so there's garbage here, garbage here. I don't really, really don't need any of that to be honest with you. Uh, happy to let that go. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Open that up. All good. And I think I raided the gun safe, which which I'm happy about. Just double checking, just making sure that I've done everything that I possibly can think of of doing. Do I take that? Yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Oh, it didn't open up this. All right. Well, at least there was nothing there, which was good. And I really don't care about those in here. Okay, so there were the few things that I left behind. Really, I'm not, not too worried about that. These parts here, do I, I don't know. And then I've got this. What's this? These are iron parts. I probably want to take those. I don't know what to do. You know what? I'll just take a bite of the food. Take that. And look, and if it does disappear, that's okay. I'm, I'm not, not going to be worried too much about this. So, let's just break our way out. Let's see what happens, because I honestly don't know what will happen once I leave the vicinity. Does it disappear? I have no clue. Alright, well let's head home anyway, because there's really nowhere else that I need to be. Oh, okay. It disappears within an hour. <laughs> well, there you are. Okay, there you have it. So, that was my very first bounty hunt. As you can see, I've never done it before because I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen if it automatically disappeared. I know how to do in other survival games, that is a thing. As soon as you left the area, you're done, you can't go back, which is totally understandable. So, with that being said, I'm going to have to work out a place where I can dump a lot of these things and then from thereafter I'll have to go back and clean the rest of that base but I will definitely get everything out of that now so now that I know that I can get whatever I can um, within the specified time frame I really don't have an issue so with that being said and done I'm not going to bore you with doing all of that so I'll leave it here today so I appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the video as always so be sure to hit the like button comment down below let me know what you thought about the raid and if you wish me to continue to do raids I'll consider it and for that uh, for that last part there if you guys haven't done so already if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway take it easy I'll see you next time